Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic fans. I'm here again, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here with, as I promised, an update on the Elmwood League after our second week of play. Now, as you will recall, my Providence Grace started uh, kind of rough 0-7. That's what we were. We were 0-7, but let's see what we are now. We go to League Stats, and you can see we are now 4-10, and and the Endwell Bird Dogs have come back to us. We are tied at the bottom of our division at 4-10, and but that means that our second week was a 4-3 and week. So... Um, and, you know, I mean, the way it looks, we're right in this because, uh, at least for the division, because we're 4-10 and 10, tied with Endwell, and both of us are only one game behind Caseville, who's 5-9, and nine, and, um, and then we are only three games behind the second place Federal Way team, um, but we are six games behind the leader. The leader, the Desert Dogs, they're doing quite well. Um, although I did beat them twice last week. So uh, that was good news. And we're going to take a look at a game that I won um, uh, pro possibly with a, with a walk-off home run. But anyway, we are 4-10. And, and uh, as you can see, now we're right there in the mix. I mean, at 0-7, we were clearly the worst team in the league the way we started. But it does not look like that situation is um, very clearly the case anymore. So um, let's go look at our team stats. Click on Providence and team stats. And uh, one thing I want to point out also, I mean, here's the, 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 uh, the main page, four and 10, Three and five at home and one and five on the road. Uh, but let's go to um, what are we looking for? Primary. There we go. So uh, I want to point out that last week, during the week, at the end of the near the end of the week, Eric Hosmer got injured. Our first baseman. He had 19 at bats at the time and was hitting 105. So since he was going to be out for six games this week, I just put him in the minors and I promoted uh, Eduardo Escobar. And you can see Eduardo Escobar is hitting 333 and 27 at bats, nine hits, three doubles and two home runs, six RBIs. You know what that means? That means that even though Hosmer could come back, he actually got Wally pipped by Escobar. So now Escobar is going to be the first baseman, at least until he cools off significantly. And then maybe we'll consider bringing Hosmer back, although we, we will have to see. Um, but still, I mean, there's people here that are just, they're killing me. Tim Anderson is hitting 196. Now, granted, he has four home runs and that's second on the team. But still. 196 for Tim Anderson and Hayes. I mean, you didn't expect Hayes to be great, but he's hitting 176. And Espinal is hitting 133. Got him in the first round and he's hitting 133 for me. Now, granted, he's only played in four games and only has 15 at bats. So let's cut him some slack. And of course, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the devil's advocate or the whatever, you know, the offsetting and say, yes, Barnhart's hitting 375 and there's no way he should be. And um, uh, Michael Taylor's hitting 300 and there's no way he should be. So, you know, take it for what it is. Uh, the pitching is really, I mean, it's not the hitting that's killing us. It's, it's really been the pitching so far. We have a 598 team earned run average. Um, you got guys like Detweiler coming out of the pen with his 1157 earned run average, you know, throwing gasoline on the fire. We don't really need that. Um, Lester and Bubich got their first starts last week because um, 
Suarez and Alex Wood cannot get all the way through the season. They can only pitch 170 innings in our league. So that means each of them roughly is going to have to surrender eight starts throughout the course of the season. And I didn't have a tough schedule last week, so I figured that would be a good time to get Bubich and Lester in there. Unfortunately, they did not pitch well for those starts. Um, Gosman is coming back down. He's on his way back down to earth, back to the Gosman-like uh, statistics we should expect from him. He's one and one with a 424 earned run average. Um, Suarez and um, Wood will be back next week. But even Wood, if, as you can see, Wood in his uh, two starts in week one were disasters. He only pitched seven innings in two starts. And uh, had a 414, has a 414 earned run average. So it's not like sitting wood was, you know, a terrible idea. Um, we'll just have to see how that works out. So let's take a look at a game that I won this week. Let's go, I think you go to file and you go down to uh, game replay. And then, I don't know, I'm not sure what game it was. Let's see. Well, let's see what game it might have been. Because we can go look at our, our stats here, team stats, and then go down to uh, daily log. And... Um, Well, we won this game 9-6. Um, we won this game 5-4. Not sure. This looks like an interesting game, though. Five. We won this game 5-4. And the hits were 11-8. And Gosman, of course, Gosman pitched the game. Um, Let's see. It was either this one, probably, or this one. The second to last game of the week. Where Jimenez, Jimenez has been great for me. So far, he has been very good. Love that guy. Um, hmm. You know, I'm not going to watch the, uh, the Gosman game because I played a Gosman. I did a replay of the Gosman game for you last week. So. We're not going to watch that one. Let's watch the 417 game against the Desert Dogs. And uh, hopefully that was the game. So we go to uh, File, Game Replay. We look for 417. Got to zip down through it. Uh, 417. And uh, let's see, what game was that? There it is. There's our game. So we'll open that. And here you go. Let's Now let me see if, because you don't need to, I don't know if you need to see all the writing, the writing on the wall. Let me move myself over here a little bit uh, more. And then we'll move this over here. And we're going to make the view a little faster than normal, maybe about midway. And um, what else do I need to do? Well, let, let's see if we if this expands it out. Yes, it does. So there you go. Um, so here we are. We're going to watch. We're going to rewatch this game against the Desert Dogs that I won 9-6. to six. Hopefully there was a dramatic come-from-behind three-run home run. And, uh, you know, we'll see. Top of inning number one. Here we go. Bubich started that game. So Seeger gets... I'm not going to do, like, uh, constant play-by-play, -play, but... Um, 
yeah, strikeouts and, you know, but, you know, I will every once in a while, maybe throw in some commentary. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Who holes flying out and Bumgarner. Well, no wonder he was pitching Bumgarner. Who right now is a bum. Grossman, Grossman with a leadoff home run. You got to love that. Well, that put us right up, uh, right out of the gate. Tim Anderson was having a terrible season and got out. But El Tuve hit a home run. So we got two jack. And then Escobar had a double. Man, we were all over Bumgarner like flies on shit. So, yeah, 2 nothing here. But that's how we left it. And then Bubich, Bubich went back out to the mound for us. Pollock, Pollock, who was just traded to the White Sox in real life. So Bubich, you know, he's not pitching too poorly here. Pop out, and now it's back to Bumgarner going out to the mound. Bottom of inning and number two, Mercedes. Mercedes grounded out, playing catcher for us. Michael Taylor. Michael, Ta Michael Taylor is having a good year, hitting 300, like I pointed out, 300. I don't know how. And he stole a base. Thank you, Michael Taylor. But then what happened? Caught ste he was caught stealing third. And really, that was a bad idea. And then Castro lined out. Bubich back out there for the top of the third. All right, maybe I am giving you play-by-play. -play. I don't know. Escobar got a walk. El City's Escobar, not my Escobar. So this should be interesting. Zanino grounded out and forced a run home. Will Myers up and he grounds out. And that's that. They got one run and it's 2 1 at this point, going into the bottom of the third. Grossman. Did Grossman hit another home run? Get out of here. Grossman. He leads my league and or he leads my team in home runs after two weeks of play. He has five home runs that leads the Providence Grays. Escobar with a double, taking Hosmer's job right away from him. Adam Engel, flying out. Top of inning number four. At this point, it's 3 1. It's a relatively benign game, but we know I end up winning at 9 6. Pollock, the new White Sox right fielder, grounds out the real life White Sox. Right. Solaire with a walk. Bubich, I was going to say, you know, Bubich is not pitching that poorly here. There's two outs here in the fourth. I may have to get Bubich in a little bit more than I was planning on. I was just planning on him taking some starts away from guys that can't go all the way to the end of the season, but hmm, who knows? I mean, uh, you know, we have uh, we have Yarborough on our team who is terrible. He can pitch all year, but he's terrible. So maybe Bubich should take over for him. Looks like we got a little something going here again. Grossman up, two home runs so far, and then he strikes out. And Timmy A, TA7, and he strikes out. So Bubich back out to the mound, top of the fifth. The dogs down 3 1 at this point. Seeger. Seeger grounds out. Zanino. Did Zanino hit a home run? He did. I have Zanino in one of my other leagues. And it's, that team has a great offense, but terrible pitching. We just have a good all-around team that just is playing in a league of all-star teams. 
El Tuve walked. Escobar, here he is. And he fouled out to give way to Austin Hayes, who is out. And then Engel, what did Engel do? Engel doubled in El Tuve. And then he was scored on a Mercedes single. So it's 5-2 at this point. I don't know. I don't know where he gets the six because Bubich is pitching lights out. All right, he's not really pitching lights out, but he's pitching well for Bubich. Pujols. Pujols grounds out. Pujols, who is back with the Cardinals, by the way, in real life for his last season. He has made that quite clear. Pollock, my main man, the new White Sox. Solaire, there's a pass ball, and Solaire still at the plate. And then uh, he walked, it looked like. Yep. Bubich walks him, and then Yandy Diaz looks like he walked. So Bubich has the bases loaded right here with a uh, substitute. Uh, pitcher Rogers was brought in for us, and then Rogers got. Uh, greeted with some uh, offensive fireworks by the dogs, who right now are tied with us. And then Seeger flies out, and then Zanino walks. And with the bases loaded, substitute pitcher Bomberance comes in to face Will Myers, his real-life teammate last year, and he struck him out. And I think that's going to be it for um, Pomerantz. We don't see him again. So here it is in a 5-5 game, bottom of the sixth. And uh, Grossman's up with one out. And he pops out. So there's two down quickly. And Tim Anderson at the plate. And he flies out. We're going to the top of the seventh in a 5-5 game. Top of inning number seven. Petit comes on for it. Now, Petit is having a terrible year. And I think I sent, did I send him down for week three? I'm not sure if I'm going to send him down for week three. But Trout got a hold of one and uh, put them ahead 6-5. So we know that that's all the runs they're getting. Solaire. Diaz, two outs, and he walks. But T is not very good. I don't know. He had he had a good whip. He had some decent stats, but his card is terrible. Bumgarner somehow is still out there. I don't even know how that's possible. But um, here we are in the bottom of the seventh, and he is. And he's got a 6-5 lead. And Jesus Aguiar comes in at first base. And El Tuve gets a single off Bumgarner. And then he steals second. Is that what happened? He did. He stole second. Now they bring in a substitute pitcher, Head. Lewis Head comes in, and Escobar is at the plate with a man at second, and he fouls out. And Hayes is up with one down. And he grounds out. And then a run scores to tie the game on an Adam Engel single. He singles uh, El Tuve home. And we are tied at six. This is setting the stage. This is, I think this is the game where we hit the walk-off home run. I'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you who hits it. But, uh, um, you know, so I'm not one of those people that can read all that gobbledygook that's in the box scores that the Strat game provides and tell, and, you know, be able to tell what really happened. So Zanino struck out, and we are going to the bottom of the eighth. Still in a 6-6 game. And Michael Taylor up, and he gets what looks like a single. Yeah, there's a single. And Castro, what happened? Oh, he forced, yeah, he forced him at second. Grossman forced him, so probably ground out. Oh, double play. So, yeah, top of the ninth. Going to the top of the ninth in a 6-6 game. This is it, folks. I think this is the game. I think I picked the right one. What do you think? So Joe Jimenez, my main man, comes in. The computer loves Joe Jimenez, and so do I. 
and he strikes out the first batter, and then Aguiar is up, and Aguiar lines out. And then A.J. Pollock is up with two down, and he strikes out. And this is setting the stage, I think, for the dramatic walk-off home run. Bottom of inning nine, Anderson gets a single. El Tuve gets a single, and now we got runners at the corners with no outs. And then they bring in John King to pitch to Escobar. And Escobar hits the three-run home run. That's right. It was Escobar who did it. And uh, so, yeah, there's the box. I'm so happy I picked the right game. So here's the box score. I'll let you look at that, um, how things were after that inning. But see, where is it? See all this stuff right here, down here in the bottom? would have told me what actually happened, supposedly, but I don't even, you know, I can't read that stuff. So, um, but let's read the uh, the uh, write-up here, because I think they've got the write-up. Yeah. Eduardo Escobar homered and had three RBIs as the Providence Grays won at Rogers Center in a dramatic, in dramatic fashion over the Desert Dogs. The final score, 9-6. to six. Providence had the game-winning rally in the ninth inning, scoring three runs using three hits. Tim Anderson let off and got things going when he banged out a single. El Tuve followed and uh, stroked a, a base hit. Escobar rifled a three-run blast, making Providence the victor and beginning a joyous home run, a hometown celebration. Providence out hit Desert for the game, 17 to 8. The winning pitcher was Joe Jimenez, our main man, who allowed no runs in one inning. The loss was charged to Lewis Head in relief. He surrendered four hits and no walks in two innings. So that is how that game played out. And, uh, very interesting. So let's go back. Just take one last look at the standings for you. Let's see here. So that's where we are. Uh, you know, I think we're. I think we can. Like I said last week, we have to see if we can claw our way back into it. It looks like maybe we will. We have the team to do it. Um, it's just a matter of whether we can or not, and we will. See if that's possible, but that is your Elmwood League and slash Providence Grays update for this week, and that is going to be.